I'm going to show you how to create labels from a list that you have in Excel. The first thing we need to do is we need to open up a Word file. So here we have our Word file and then we're going to go to the mailings tab on the Word document and we are going to start mail merge and we'll, we'll select labels. Okay, and then it comes up with um, a dialog box asking you for the type of labels that you're going to select. And let's select these ones that we already have. You'll, you'll be able to find your, um, your labels by, they go by brand and then they go the number that's printed on the bottom. So let's just select these ones that we have and we'll say OK. And so now you have your labels. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, then go and select Select Recipients. And we're going to use an existing list. And what we're going to do is we are going to select our list from our documents. And our labels are, are our names are on sheet one. So let's, we have that one selected. So let's go OK. OK, so now what you're going to do is you are going to insert merge field. And so now the first thing that I want to have on my label is I'd like to have the first name. So let's go first name and then go insert and now let's go close. You need to put a space in between your first name and your last name because you, if you insert them directly they will be right on top of each other. So let's go now let's go insert merge field again and let's select last name. We'll go insert and then we'll go close again and once again you need to press enter and you're going to go insert merge field and you're going to select address and then you're going to go insert and then you're going to go close and you're going to go enter and <coughs> insert merge field and you're going to select city. So let's say that that's all we needed on our labels. So we're happy with that. So what we're going to do is update labels. And now it's going to copy the same format onto all of your labels. Now, what I would I suggest you do just for the fact that you can um, fix anything that's not right is we're going to go uh, finish and merge and you're going to drop down the list arrow here and you are going to edit individual documents and it's going to let you suggest how many you want you want to do so I'd say you go 30 at a time because 30 is a number that normally fit rips that normally fit on a page so I'm going to go 1 to 30 and we'll go OK So there you have your labels completed for you and all you need to do is print them out. Now um, if you want to go and do the ones after that you would just click that again. You would click this and go for example 30 to 60 and you keep doing that. So that's how you create labels from Excel, an Excel list. Please subscribe.